So I just bought the cheapest motorized bicycle kit that I can find on Amazon that I can get within two days. And the most expensive motorized kit that the internet had to offer. Me and Craig are gonna challenge them together and the first person who puts our bike together wins the first challenge. Go. You gotta go now? So while Craig's heading to the other shop to put his together, I'm gonna tell you guys that I know nothing about these little motorized bicycles. I think I got a four stroke and I think he got a two stroke. I'm not exactly sure. But before I tell you the prices of both of these motorcycles, I just gotta clear something up. You there, you that guy who's on your keyboard, who's about to say, these motorized bicycles are not motorcycles and therefore are stupid and I'm coming after you. Watch your back, watch your family. Let me remind you that these motorized bicycles emulate and are possibly the purest form of what motorcycles really are. If you look back to the earliest first motorcycles, that's exactly what they were. Even Harley Davidson's mo first motorcycle, 1903, which is a bicycle with a motor stuck right in the middle of the frame. I think Craig's had enough time to get over to the shop. Let's get into it, I can't wait to see what I got. I think mine's all put, I, I bought mine as a one big kit all together, the bike and the motor together. I thought there. I thought the motor was in there. I thought buying it all together was going to get me ahead. Craig's bikes together. This might be putting me behind. All right. Now, something you guys don't know. I was actually a. Uh, I spent like a year of my life as a professional bicycle builder. I worked for a company that would go into WalMarts and put the and put together their bikes. So I'm sure this is a Walmart quality bike, although it was significantly more expensive. So my entire kit, bike plus the motor, was around 900 bucks. Well, Craig's motor kit, I think was 160 bucks. Let's open the boxes and see what Sean got me. Spare carburetor, so that's nice. Maybe he felt bad because he gave me the cheap kit. I don't know, we'll find out. Now I'm gonna try to keep everything nice and neat here. Because if I know Sean, he is probably working on the floor in the middle of a mess surrounded by cardboard and bubble wrap. This looks nothing like the bike that I ordered. The bike I ordered was much more blue, like a really bright blue. This is like a greenish blue. Oh, check this out. So the frame is the gas tank, which as we know from the 50s and the 60s and the 70s and sometimes in the 80s, that was historically a horrible idea. Because sometimes gas tanks rust out and they fail and now it's also your frame. But it does look cool. So let's see what we got here. Gas tank. Oh, look how cute this is. Fly your dreams. Create unlimited possibilities. Now a computer, spark plug, spark plug wrench, fuel filter, a horn, carburetor, radiator, throttle, grips, the ignition coil, some springs, chain, chain guide, guard. Okay, guess we're just gonna take this as it comes. Holy. This thing is light, this weighs nothing. It's very thin aluminum. All right, let's see what's in these boxes over here. I won't lie, I am starting to get a little nervous about my um, tires and my tubes. Uh, those are original 1994, 95. But it sounds like Sean's plan backfired a little bit, trying to get a whole bike complete. All right, so we got a, uh, I'm not gonna lie, not that bad feeling of a banana seat. Is it brakes, I guess? Yeah, that's the other brake caliper seat stem pedals oh it's got clip-on handlebars it's very motorcycle of it there's no actual instructions of where is there instructions i don't need instructions i'm a man we got the destructions with pictures okay since there's pictures we're gonna hang on to that every one of these pieces is very strategically precisely made for a very specific purpose which i know none of them but we're just gonna try real hard and hope Hopefully there's no extra pieces. We're gonna go straight to the racing carb because, you know, racing. Now Craig thinks that I may have hooked him up by buying him a carburetor. The carburetor was like 17 bucks. In reality, I distracted him with the carburetor because I think he's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna get more power out of this carburetor, win the challenge. I think it's just gonna get in his way and he's gonna have to tune it and adjust it. It's not gonna work right. That, that, that's, my, that's my idea. None of this makes sense. Oh, I need clearance for that exhaust pipe, too. It's just getting a little tricky. That feels good.
I'm actually really surprised at how light this bike is. I mean, it weighs, it doesn't weigh that much. Let's see if the rim's straight. I mean, the, t the tire is obviously off, but you look at the rim, and the rim is also off, which is exactly what you want when you're trying to go super fast. It just makes life more exciting. All right, so this all makes sense. I had to take this one rubber and cut it so that it goes on the inside of the spokes. <laughs> yeah. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so I'm pretty glad because if I'm having this much trouble, I know Sean's having a lot of trouble too. Are you guys ready for the semi-big reveal? Look at that. I'm really close to having a semi-functional bicycle. I think my original plan of just getting everything kind of set up and, and loosely put on and, and whatever, I'm failing because once it's on, it's on. I'm not taking this thing back apart to uh, finish stuff up. So we'll see what happens. The more and more parts I put on this bike, the more I'm thinking like, do I really want to hit those speeds that I'm trying to, that I'm in my mind trying to hit with this bike? Let's put the, uh, it's not handlebars, it's just clip, it's clip ons it's like, uh, like a motorcycle. All right, full disclosure, this is the most uncomfortable bicycle or motorcycle I've ever been on in my life. I've been on this thing for 10 seconds. I feel like I gotta get off. This is horrible. I thought it was gonna be more like a beach cruiser, like sitting like this. You know, they look comfortable. This is brutal. All right, let's finish the bike. Riding the world's most uncomfortable bicycle, but maybe I look cool doing it. Take one. I was hoping that these brakes would be good, but they're awful. I think it's safe to say this is the worst bicycle I've ever ridden. Hopefully it's a better motorcycle. Let's go put an engine on this thing. Can you believe the entire engine is in this box? And honestly, the box looks exactly like the one that Craig got for like 160 bucks. So it might be the same thing. I don't know. Uh, delivery. Uh, let me get two pepperoni pies, and what kind of dessert do you have? Yeah, let me get like a one rice pudding, a couple baklavas, and like four cookies. Okay, I'll write that on there. Cool, thank you. Thank you. All right, bye. I should slow them down a little bit. Oh, geez. We got pizza? I don't know. That's fantastic. Are we at the right spot? SRK Cycles, 1921. Yeah. It does have the name Sean here, but it also says Craig afterwards. Okay, that's me. See what we got. This is, what is this? No. You gotta be. No way, are you kidding me? There's no way this is what Craig's dealing with. Yellow. Craig, how disassembled is your engine? Just getting ready to open it, and then pizza showed up. Oh shoot, that's weird. That's weird. Well, you might as well sit down and eat pizza. You know, it's it's better best to eat pizza when it's nice and uh, warm. Nice and warm. Okay. Yeah. I guess you're not coming over, huh? You're just trying to distract me, aren't you? Yeah, this is all part of your plan. You're not beating me. I'm holding the piston and the head disconnected oh no i pulled the piston out no, i shouldn't have done that your motor's in pieces <laughs> completely dis uh, disassembled <laughs> i hope mine's not disassembled now i'm an engine builder <laughs> <laughs> that's funny i am so happy you you've turned my day around <laughs> so apparently sean's engine is just in pieces which i think is hysterical because i'm pretty sure he bought me the cheapest one thinking like he was just gonna open a box and his was going to be ready to put gas in and ride. And now he figured out not only does he have to assemble his bike, I'm pretty sure, because I saw the box that came in. Now he has to assemble his engine too. And we all know how Sean is with engines. So we'll see how this turns out. I guess it's, uh... I guess it's lunchtime. He figured out his engines in pieces and he was like, that's it. I'm sending food over to Craig. Now I'm ready. Yeah, this is so Sean distracting me. It's working. I'm hungry. It's working. Good tapioca. So I can add engine builder to my resume after. I'm not gonna claim that I'm gonna say successful engine builder. If this thing fires up, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I, I think I think what's going on here, this kit is not specifically for that bike because the kit also comes with a gas tank and some things that I don't think, like we don't, we don't need this sprocket. It already has a sprocket on there. So maybe that'll save me some time. Probably not, because I gotta put this engine together and I don't know what I'm doing. This is gonna be good. This is gonna work out really well for everybody. 
Well, no wonder they're so cheap on the internet, because you got to do all the work. Now, I took small engines class in high school, but my engine never worked when I was done. Never successfully took an engine apart and put it back together. But hey, there's a first time for everything. Craig. Craig. Hey. Yeah. Are, are we building this bike? Mm. This bicycle? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Let's go. Yo, my engine is together. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Take that. Have fun putting your pistone together. Yeah, okay. Bye. All right, I got the chain on. I'm pumped. Check this out. It turns good. It's looking nice and tight. I did it without this stupid thing. I just got the chain and I adjusted the, the wheel and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's possible that the head is on backwards that's possible it might want to be this way it's also possible the pistons in wrong but i don't know let's just put gas in it let's put some gas in it and let's uh put it on choke and i mean i think it's right let's fire it up let's zip, zip tie this stuff get this stuff all nice and tight okay so we need to get the clutch to run in through there the cable in through here and then that holds the outer i just got a text from sean he said when i'm finished to meet him at the round to race him to the rendezvous point i'm pretty sure i got him beat there's no way, there's no way he's putting together a whole bicycle and an engine kit faster than I'm gonna. Man, this is gonna work perfect the first time. I've never, I uh, can't believe it. And let's fire it up. 40 to one, I hope that's the right mixture. Good stuff. Oh shoot, it's dripping. Of course it wasn't working. Look, the football's not even connected. All right, let's go fire it up. Let's go do it. Nailed it. Okay, I saw fuel flow. I'm a little sketched out riding on like 30 year old tires and tubes. Guess that's what we're gonna do for now. Fuel's on. Uh, this is where we having pedals would be really nice. No way! This should be pretty entertaining for you to watch. Okay, so this gets pulled in. What? 10%. Yo, this is crazy! It's actually in work. And it's idling. It's actually idling. Can you believe that? Yeah, so it's running. My brakes are shot, they don't work. My tubes and tires are 30 plus years old. Nothing's been greased or checked or looked at. Um, I just pulled this thing out of the shed after 20 some years, but uh, let's go beat Sean. In your face, Craig! Uh, now we just have to wait for him. Hey, Craig, do you think you won? Huh? What? Oh, come on. Smoked you, Craig. How long have you been here? Since yesterday. <laughs> Let's see that piece of junk. Bring it on over here. Here it is. Wow. <laughs> That's ugly looking. It's a 1994 so, Cannondale F200 there, buddy. So you have one out of the two motor yeah. mounts. Uh-huh. Yep. What's the deal with this random uh, wire? I didn't have a white wire to plug it into, so I didn't worry about it. You're, your carburetor's missing the intake. Uh, yep, yep. No air cleaner there. This is a, an aftermarket upgraded uh, carburetor, though. I'm not sure it's working quite right, but it is so sketch. Is it? Yeah. Well, let me show you mine. Yeah, what do you got? Bam! Look at that beautiful oh. thing. So this is all one kit. Like the engine was made for the bike was made for this motor. Yeah. So you gas have, tank here. The gas tank's inside, but to have the motor mounts both on, it got in the way of the sprocket. Oh, so you don't have a sprocket? I have no. 
I have and no you don't have a chain. It's a weight saving strategy. And you don't have a break. I'm missing my break. So, so you really, you, you put like half of this together. That's how you beat well, me. The, the one bolt. I was missing the bolts of the break. So they were they were MIA. Sure. I'm surprised it ran. Oh, I'm didn't surprised you it ran. Did you used to be all. a professional bicycle put together guy? I did. Yeah. Assembler. I did. Look at his front wheel. Oh yeah. It's like all the other bikes we have, just very, square, square wheels. Very very bent. I like the color. That's really cool. It was supposed it's to like be. An, it was supposed to be more blue. This it's is, like an iridescent. They, they gave, it's the wrong color. They gave me the wrong color. S- sit, sit on this. Comfortable seat. Sit on that. I'm not. I'm not kidding. The most. Uncomfortable thing I've ever sat on in my life. How how horribly uncomfortable that is, is that? That is awful. So I won that challenge. The next thing we got to do is because you only put half of it together. It's, it's all together. We're talking about you didn't put your. You only have one motor mount. <laughs> you didn't have an intake on yours. The next thing to do is we got to race them. Let's do it. That could be why I was losing power. I was running out of gas. <laughs> People love when I stand here to shoot in the radar gun. They all slow down when I do this. All right, here he comes. Uh, you got it? It's at 27, I don't believe it. I don't think this thing is catching it accurately. Well, let me go grab a small motorcycle. I'll ride right up next to him, and then we'll, uh, we'll, use, and then we'll switch, and then we'll use that. That'll be the most accurate way to do it. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Tell me the time, Craig. Yeah, you were a solid thirty-five. Wow. And it, it, it did it hit thirty-six at one I've point. Been called, I've been called a solid five before, but never a solid thirty-five. Right? You are a solid thirty-five. I can't believe with my, you know, I'm only like just over 200 pounds. I really thought mine would go faster. I think that aftermarket carburetor is really screwing me up. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have put that on. So the big question on my mind and probably on your minds is, are these things actually durable? I mean, Craig's engine was like 160 bucks, which there's probably like 500% markup, which means it costs them 37 cents to build. It, it's, it, how, do you, how do you do it? For $160, how do you get that engine from China <laughs> To Lancaster, I don't know. I, 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 I'm it, it, it costs less than a quarter to build. How durable can these engines be? Let's go find out. So we decided to strap the bikes down to my trailer and tape the throttles wide open. We then set up GoPros to monitor the engines all night long. But to our surprise, we didn't need the GoPros. Since my engine was started running before Craig got his running, it was pretty obvious to both of us who the winner was. It didn't take long. I don't know who died quickest because mine was running way longer than yours was. It was running way longer, but it wasn't running that, that, yeah, I beat you. Scientifically. Scientifically speaking, I won. I'm not sure if you won. 
I started mine way before yours did. You did. It was way before, but it wasn't way, way before. It wasn't way before enough. I don't know. They both died. I mean, when it comes down to it, what, they both lasted maybe 10 minutes? Yours vibrated itself apart. You don't even have an exhaust, everything. Your pedals fell off. Yeah, that's true. So when it comes down to it, I wanted more. I was expecting more than this. I, I, I wanted a lot more. I wanted a little more over the top, a, little, a lot more performance. As much, as, as much fun as these things were, these are a good gateway to what to a motorcycle, but I had bigger expectations for these uh, motorized bicycles, and I, I, I'm going to go find what I'm looking for. So I spent hours scouring the darkest depths of Facebook Marketplace and just so happened to find exactly what I was looking for. There it is, Craig. <laughs> What'd you get? Jacket. All right, I, I'm, I'm just going to go. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It did not come in a box. I bought it from a very shady guy at night, very late at night, from Craigslist. But this is what I was expecting. This is what I wanted for a motorized bicycle. Oh my word! <laughs> what did you do? This is a 19, it's apparently, I'm told, a 1948 Roadmaster bicycle from, from 1948, completely modified. He said he's got 500 bucks in each wheel that he ordered from uh, the UK or wherever, Roadmaster, I don't know. He's got saddlebags, it's the fuel tank, some type of NOS tank, I'm not sure what that does. This thing, beach bars, comfort, I don't know, look at this tachometer, some other meter, I don't know what that meter is. It's not a, it's not boosted, I don't know why that's here. That's some type of radio. It's got a 212 Harbor Freight motor on it, slightly modified. This is the gas tank. This is how you, it's got a thumb throttle from like a quad. This is how you cruise down the road on a motorized bicycle. Here, Craig, give it a crank. So not only is this a four-stroke engine, which is better than a two-stroke engine, you can, buy, you can replace this motor for like 110 bucks at Harbor Freight. Yeah, but valves are for suckers. You can also modify the motor, too. We actually had one of these. I was making three times the horsepower. Hey, it's a runner. Yeah, it is. So the next thing we need to do is take this thing for a spin and see how uh, see how fast it can go. But I got to suit up and I got a little trick. It didn't work out. It's a horrible move. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the one. Let's do this. And with all the fun that we're having, I'm often reminded by Matthew 6:33, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And this motorized bicycle or motorcycle was awesome and did everything super cool. It was only mildly sketchy, and it hit a top speed of 45 miles per hour, which is pretty close to hitting highway speeds. But my next question is, we get those other bikes running again after we locked up the motor. Let's go check it out. Now, now I'm interested to see if these bikes will run after we both uh, locked them up. I hope mine runs too because this will make taking the kids for a bike ride that much more fun. There we go. Come on. Come on. My chain popped off and dropped around the rear wheel. My engine wasn't even trying. Let's pop the heads off real quick. All right. Okay, that's the head. That is the pistone. Oh wow! You got a hole right in the oh, middle yeah. of it. Yeah, that that was never gonna. That was never gonna run. Pretty sure I see the problem. You got a big old hole right in the middle of your cylinder. Your piston. I'm not. I don't think mine's gonna look like that. Oh, oh quitter! Look at that. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's so cool. You see that, dude? That is so cool. I mean, realistically, all I need is just a a piston and a jug kit. Which, what's that going to cost me? 15 bucks. 27 cents. <laughs> For free shipping. Yeah. I guess that settles something. Hold up, guys. I want to show you guys something I'm really proud of. And I'm very, uh... A big truck came in. A big truck. And they dropped this thing off. 
I don't know what it is. It's probably YouTube letting me know that we're demonetized forever. But let's bring it out here. If you took one step for each subscriber you have, do you know how far it would get you? For starters, over 13 times around the perimeter of Beijing. Blah, 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 many subscribers, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? A business card from Rick. Rick! Pickle Rick! Greg, get over, get over here, buddy. You can't hear it the last three subscribers. So right. Right. Yeah, nothing like coming in at the 11th hour. Guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Let's get to uh, 200 million. Don't bite it, don't bite it, don't bite it. Don't bite it. Don't bite it. You always bite gold. You don't bite it, you don't bite it. It's not for biting. Did you ever watch the Olympics? No. I didn't. It's cool. It's cool.